YouTube channel Math with Jeeva. So this is the third video of our topic geometry and after a long time we are meeting together. So in this video I am going to talk about triangles. So look at this, it's a triangle and what are the features you can see? One, two, three, three sides and one, two, three, you can have three angles. That is what it is called triangle triangle, right? Now, look at this. The other side, I have colored the angles. Those are we call the internal angles. And I'm going to tear off this. Am I uh, angry with you or with this triangle? No. I want to show you something. Now, look at this. These are three sides and these are three angles, internal angles. And this is a triangle. Now see what I'm going to do. Right? So now I have, I have three pieces. So let's see what can I do with this. Right? And look at this. And the third one, I'm going to keep like this. Okay. Now, what can you see on the board? Look at this. Here, it is a straight line. And what is this? Can you remember? If you watch my previous two videos, what is this? Now, what can you see? There is a straight line. On the straight line, we have an angle. What is we called? We call it a straight angle. Can you remember? In the second video, I told you, value of this straight angle. Using the protractor, I showed you the value of this uh, straight angle is 180 degrees. Now, what happened? What are they? Now, I have a straight angle. On the straight line, there is an angle. It is, we call the straight angle. And we know the value of that uh, straight angle is 180 degrees. Now, how I made this uh, straight angle using the angles of triangles. Three angles we can see in the triangle and using those three angles I made this straight angle. Now can you tell me any theory when you look at this can you guess anything? Angles right in a triangle add up to 180. So that is the First theory I'm going to talk with you in this video. Angles in a triangle add up to 180. So without telling that theory straight away, I wanted to show you how it came. So the students who have learned this theory earlier, so you know, you have studied it. Angles in a triangle add up to 180. So you know that, but I wanted to show you how it came, right? So randomly I uh, divided them into three pieces. Now I arranged them in, in an order uh, where I found a straight angle. Right, the first theory, angles in a triangle add up to 180. Then I am going to, okay, before going to the next one, tell me. So let's say if this is 60 and if this is 70, how can you find this? If you have a question like that, how can you find that? Tell me first of all, how can you find the value of x, right? First one, what you can do children, you write 60 degree plus 70 degree plus x. What is the value? 180. And within bracket, I told you, when you are doing geometry, each and every time, whether they have asked it or not, it doesn't matter how you got this based on which theory, within brackets you want to write. So what is the theory? 
angles you know so here i don't have enough spaces otherwise you want to write here within bracket you want to write angles angles in a triangle angles in a triangle so you want to write this. then you don't want to write add up to 180 because of that you added and showed that it is equal to 180 so you just write within bracket angles in a triangle so then 60 plus 70 it is 130 degree plus x equal to 180 degrees and i want to find the value of x i keep x this side then i bring this 130 to the other side what happened it becomes minus 130 180 degrees minus 130 the answer is x value is it is 50 degrees so this is the value of x so i can name it as here it is 50 right after calculating if you want so this is not required so what you can do uh, you can calculate them 70 plus 60 plus 50 then you can check whether your answer is correct or not 7 plus 5 12 12 plus 6 it is 80 so you get 180 degrees so that means your answer is correct so if they have given two angle values and you want to find the missing value what is the theory you are going to apply angles in a triangle add up to 180 so let's go to the second one with related to triangles it's like this let's say they have given a triangle like this right and so this is a triangle they, this is the triangle they have given let's say this is 80 degrees and this is uh, let's say 40 degrees right i don't know this value and i have extended this line right so you can decide whatever the side you are going to extend this uh, theory will be applicable i selected this side to extend now i have an external angle let's say now i'm going to name it as y and the internal angle which i don't know x okay right now tell me based on this and based on the theories you have learned so far we can uh, create or we can arrive for another theory right it's a theory we don't want to arrive actually mathematicians have found it now we are going to prove it right so when i extend the line the students who have learned geometry earlier you know because always you want to buy heart everything you want to study i uh, i have uh, i'm telling this again and again why somehow i want to change your attitude because so when you are learning something always ask the question why why teacher said like this i want to know the reason because with that uh, attitude always you want to find why why is she telling like this why is she telling like this then when you go to let's say especially when you go to a level class if you want to uh, learn math uh, let's say combine math so always you want to prove things for that you want to train your mind let's say then some students yeah we are not planning to do math so we don't want to think like that no so when you are thinking like that automatically your mind will be trained for that that means your thinking capacity will be higher than an ordinary student so you want to improve that capacity so now tell me so you have learned a theory what is that the external angle of a triangle so this is the external angle of this triangle how i created that external angle i extended one side now i have an external angle that external angle will be equal to the sum of the internal opposite angles internal opposite angles right if so according to that theory 80 plus 40 should be equal to y again i repeat the theory external angle in a triangle 
equal to internal opposite triangle angles right if so 80 plus 40 should be equal to y right so now i'm going to prove whether this is correct or not right now tell me according to the first theory we learn look at this what are they we learn about angles on a straight line add up to 180 can you remember yes according to that x plus y equal to 180 what is the reason angles what is the reason angles on a straight line that is the reason you want to write the reason always angles on a straight line add up to 180 then i want to keep y along how can i find it y equal to 180 minus x so do you agree with me the value of y is 180 minus x so this x i brought to this side it is 180 minus x so i keep this separately y equal 180 minus x right so that's a separate one now then think about the theory we learned today with relevant to the triangles here we have three angles i told you angles in a triangle add up to 180 if so how can i write this 80 right plus 40 plus x equal to 180 what is the reason angles in a triangle angles in a triangle right Okay, now here I am going to have x value. So, what I am going to do in this formula also, I want to keep x alone and, right? Or else you can write y equals 180 minus x. Now, you have two formulas. With this theory, x equal 180 minus y or else y equal 180 minus uh, x. So then here for x, what I am going to do, uh, the addition of this is 120. Then 180 minus, right, 120. So that is, uh, that is what? 60 degrees. The value of x is 60 degrees. Now, value of x is 60 degrees. Right? So, here I substitute that value. What is the value of y? If so, 180 minus 60, it will be 120. What is 120? It is the sum of these two angles. What are these two angles? They are internal opposite angles of this y now can you understand so here the addition of this 180 if this is let's say y this should be 180 minus y right and here it is what so uh, we want to add these two values together and that particular value should be deducted from 180 to get this value you are getting the same answer. Now can you understand the theory again? And, and external angle in a triangle should equal to internal opposite angles. Right? Okay. So we'll do few questions then you may understand what it is. So look at this. Now, before that, I will explain about another two types of triangle. When you see like this, what do you feel? What is this? It's a triangle, but I have uh, marked something. Can you see that? So, I have marked. So, in a square, can you remember? When I mark like this, you know, what is that? So, the, all four sides are equal. Likewise, in the triangle, if I draw like this, 
what does that mean? It tells me all three sides are equal to each other. So what we call this type of triangle, children, it is equilateral triangle. It is an equilateral triangle. And in an equilateral triangle, all the internal angles are equal to each other, right? In an equilateral triangle, all the internal angles are equal to each other. Now, what is the theory we learn when we start this uh, video? We learn angles in a triangle add up to 180. If so, x plus x plus x equal to 180 because angles in a triangle add up to 180. Now, x plus x plus x, it is 3x, right? 3x equal to 180 degrees. Now you know, you have followed my algebra lessons too. Then 3x means 3 times x, right? So that is 3 times x equal to 180. You want to find the value of x. This is a multiplication. When you bring this to the other side, what happens? It becomes a division. 180 divided by 3, the answer is 60. Now tell me, in an equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal. All internal angles are equal. Value of an angle is 60 degrees, right? So, in an equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal. And also, all internal angles are equal. Value of internal angle is 60 degrees, right? Another one. What is this? When you look at this figure, what do you feel? Again, it's a triangle, right? It's a triangle. And what is the main feature you can see? Only two sides are equal in length, right? And according to the theory, it says in, a, in an isoscale triangle, what is this triangle? The special, uh, special triangle? Isoscale triangle. In an isoscale triangle, Two sides are equal and the angle at the base of these equal side, that is, these two angles are equal to each other. I repeat, in an isoscale triangle, two sides are equal and the angles at the base of these equal sides are equal to each other. Right? Now, we learned four theories related to triangles. The first one we talk about angles in a triangle add up to 180, right? With the support of the straight angle theorem, we discuss uh, external angle in a triangle equal to internal opposite two angles. The third one we talk about equilateral triangle. What is an equilateral triangle? The, an, a, a, a triangle. Uh, all three sides are equal in size and all internal angles are equal in size. And one angle size is 60 degrees. And fourth one we talk about isoscale triangle. In an isoscale triangle, two sides are equal and also angles at the base of the equal sides are equal to each other. Based on all these four theorems as well as the theories we learned in video number two. What are they? Angles uh, on a straight line add up to 180. Then angles at a point add up to 360. Vertically opposite angles are equal to each other. Now, today we learn angles in a triangle add up to 180. Then external angle will be equal to the internal opposite angle. So when it comes to a triangle. In an equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal and all internal size, uh, angles are equal. Uh, size of the angle is 60 degrees. In an isoscale triangle, two sides are equal and the angles at the base of the equal sides are equal to each other. All these theorems, now you have understood well, right? Now we will uh, discuss few questions to uh, confirm your knowledge, right? Look at this. Okay. Right? 50. And here it is 
is let's say this is 65 right this is 65 now tell me how do you find the value of b so look at the figure well and guess how can you find the value of b how so here can you see something vertically opposite angles right so if this is 65 right because vertically opposite angles are equal so this is 65 and this should be 65 if this is 65 b should be 65 why in an isoscale triangle they have marked it the uh, that fact is given right they have marked it and name it as an isoscale triangle in a in an isoscale triangle the angles at the base of equal sides are equal therefore b should be 65 in other way can you find uh, the value we know let's say they have not given this value also let's say this is x now you want to find both x and b how can you do that right so this is an isos isoscale triangle if this is B, this should be B, right? And B plus B plus 50 equal to 180. Why it is equal to 180? Because angles in a triangle add up to 180, right? Then 2B plus 50 equal to 180 degrees. Then 2B equal to... 180 minus 50 degrees, right? Then B equal to 130 divided by 2, that is 65 degrees. If B is 65, X should be 65 because vertically opposite angles are equal. Now, can you understand how we are going to apply? So, there are many methods. When you learn all the theorems together and when you go to the O-level examination, right? You may have a lot of ways to achieve to the final answer. You may have a lot of ways to prove whatever the statement they, they have asked you to prove. But whatever the theorem you are going to apply within bracket, you want to show according to which theorem you achieve this or else you have you prove this statement. Right. future you know uh, there will be my website and in the website you can find a lot of model questions and answers so i'm planning to discuss a lot of questions and answers because whatever the theories we are talking here when you apply when you do a lot of sums only you can understand the theory well right okay so that's the end of uh, the geometry lesson related to uh, triangles then we'll meet again with another few theories okay see you children and don't forget to share about our youtube channel math with jiva and if you feel i can understand the way she's explaining don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and click the bell button okay see you children